I'm Pat Lincioni here with Chris Stefanik, and here is your three-minute reset. I'm thinking about spider webs today, and this goes back to one of the first podcasts we did on the three-minute reset, and that was the idea that we all have strings that tie us down, that prevent us from flying. There's something in our life that we make more important than God that doesn't seem like a terrible problem. I mean, if it's pornography or or overt greed or or something like that, well, we know those are the chains that can tie us down. But when there's just a string, something that seems relatively innocuous, but it still keeps us from pursuing God, it's very dangerous because as as St. John of the Cross once said, whether we're tied down by a string or a chain, it doesn't matter because we still can't fly. And, and so I thought about spider webs, and I thought how every year when, when spring comes, the spiders come out, and there's spider webs. Sometimes you come in the house one day, and you go right out the next morning, and there's these spider webs across the doorway. Don't open your mouth when you go out the door in the springtime. <laughs> exactly. And so these things, these spider webs that become like strings, grow back. And so this is a reminder for the three-minute reset to say, remember those strings we talked about cutting? We have to remember that they come back and new ones come. And it's, it's a constant effort to recognize them and cut them so nothing keeps us from pursuing Jesus. And this takes attentiveness to what's going on in your own heart. And I love the image you brought up, Pat, of, uh, from St. John of the Cross, right? That, that the bird, it, whether it has a chain around it or, or a dental floss around it, it's not going to fly. It can't spread its wings. Uh, you'll notice if there's a chain around your neck. You'll notice if there's a big problem or a big sin or vice that's ruining your life or your marriage. The small things can be more insidious in some ways because we can get comfortable with them. We can cozy up next to them and not notice and then never live up to our full potential. Really have an okay marriage, do okay at work, do okay at people, do okay at our own happiness because we didn't take time to, I love the phrase, examine your conscience. It's an old-fashioned phrase, but at the end of the day, it's a great thing. It's not about beating yourself up. Close your eyes. Take a look at your day. How did I do? What's, what's growing in me that I don't like? What's tying me down? And Lord, forgive me for that. Help me do better. Sometimes it's something like a TV show that you're watching that's gotten. My wife and I always seem to like watch a TV show, and we enjoy that. And it gets increasingly dark. And at some point, we're like, ooh, I think this is actually not good for us. And we got to cut that string. So it, mm. it can be something that seems innocuous, but let's just constantly ask ourselves, are there strings that I haven't seen? Or are there things that are growing that I have to be aware of? So let's mm. pray, Chris. Lord, enlighten our hearts. Help us to, to know what's going on on the inside. Help us to see those strings and give us the courage to cut them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.